Okay, we made it to our first location and it is a big one. It is a giant chicken. And I don't mean like Marty McFly giant chicken. I mean, this is a giant chicken. And from what I read about online is that it was a statue or sign for a restaurant here in Spencer, Indiana. And when the restaurant closed, you know, the city was gonna tear down and people threw a fit. And so they saved the chicken. So let's go check it out. So this giant chicken here is in Spencer, Indiana, like I said. It's at the, the fairgrounds here. And as you can see, there he is up there on this pedestal. So let's see if we can get a closer look at the giant chicken. Look at that. And there he is. I think the gate is locked so we can't get in. We can't get a closer look. But wait, looks like we can walk in, at least can't drive in. So let's see if we can get a better view or a better shot of the chicken. Here's the sun. It is not our friend right now. Uh, there's a little better shot than the giant chicken there. So that is pretty cool that they were able to save this chicken from the restaurant. I believe the restaurant is called Hilltop Restaurant. All right, it looks like they're trying to set something up here at the fairgrounds. Um, so, but thankfully the chicken is on the outside. Uh, I could I could walk in. I just couldn't drive in. So we had to park at the park over here to check it out. But now we're on to our next stop. It is another big item here in central Indiana. And it's nothing to write home about either. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. All right, so we made our next stop here. Uh, it's in Letzville or Leedsville. I'm not really too sure I pronounced it. I'm sure I'll be corrected uh, by my friends who live in the area. And so we're actually at this is the Boys and Girls Club of Letzville, and there is some big giant things here. Uh, and there's actually some other stuff here too I want to show you that I found quite interesting when I pulled in. So let's check it out. So before I show you the big giant things, there are these pillars, as you can see here, that surround the entire item. I'm not too sure what they, it's like children, ladybugs, you know, just keep an eye on things here of these items. And they're kind of tying into the whole theme of it because they're like little art projects on these pillars. You know, stuff that keep that people would draw crayons, for example, or pencils. And so, lo and behold, we have a giant crayon and pencil right here in the center that these art projects are surrounding. These, I mean, they're quite big. And I like what the pencil says. The pencil says, makers of art and other things. That is so true because you can do so much with a giant pencil. So there's a little sign here that says thank you to our con following contributors. So I guess this was a town thing that they did for the Boys and Girls Club here. Like I said this is kind of cool though. You have all these little art items, art displays that you can create with a crayon and pencil. So that is pretty neat. So that's the whole kit and caboodle here. Look how big these things are. This is freaking huge. I mean, they must have giants here in this town. We got ourselves a giant crayon, or some people call it a crayon. That is just freaking cool. So, I'm just amazed. Color me amazed. I mean, look at that. That is just, they're just huge. <laughs> 
So that is a couple of big things here that I found in central Indiana. Now I found these using the app called Roadside America. They have a website, totally free. You can also download the app, which I did. Because I want to find some more of these giant things or similar things here around where I live now. So I want to thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later on down the road.